So um, I've just had a lovely chat with a bunch of people from companies talking about um, what organizations can do to help drive global impact. Firstly, before I dive in, can you tell me a little bit more about the work that you're doing for people who don't know as much about it? Absolutely, that would be my great pleasure. So, the UN Global Compact was founded 20 years ago by former Secretary General Kofi Annan with the perspective, with the view of giving globalization a more human face. 20 years later, this is more relevant than ever. So we work with companies across uh, the planet through our almost 70 local networks, one of them here in France, to challenge and support companies to actually take action on our 10 principles, 10 universal principles, and of course, the magnificent 17 goals. So do you, um, because it's, what sorts of support do you provide to organizations? Because you, there, are, there are companies, large and small, out there who want to do a little bit more, but they maybe don't necessarily know where to start. What type, is it educational support that you're providing predominantly, or a multitude of other practical tools? It's many different tools. It's first of all an interaction with companies across the world. So we do many events, workshops, other ways of engaging with companies. We have many tools that companies can apply. The SDG Compass, the SDG Blueprint uh, for the SDGs. So that, that there are many ways that, that, that we support companies and we know that they look to the UN Global Compact for help and support. And we also know that four years into the goals, just as Paul was saying, many companies are also worried that the needle is not really moving behind the goals. So in January, right now, we are kickstarting the decade of action that Mr. Gutierrez, the Secretary General, has sort of uh, begun right at, at this moment. So what we want companies across the world to do is to become more ambitious, set very ambitious targets like 1.5 um, degrees uh, uh, science-based targets, or set targets on gender, we suggest 30% women in management and on boards. So it's this kind of ambition, these kind of targets we really need to see now. And how important do you think it is for organizations to, to kind of have that stamp initially where they just say, regardless of whether they know how to do it right now, but to at least make that commitment and say, in 10 years, we want to find that answer. How important do you think it is to at least start there without necessarily knowing how? We know that 80% of global compact companies across the world are aware and already working on the goals. So compared to the last set of goals, the SDGs have an amazing uptake in business. I think that companies are also realizing that it's a really complex agenda. 17 different goals that are really transformational and interconnected. How do you choose the goals you want to work with as part of your business strategy? And how do you make sure that you anchor this set of goals in human rights, in anti-corruption, in labor, and in the environment? So that's why there is always a need for more advanced tools to help companies benchmark where they are right now, where they're doing well, where are the gaps, and also help companies uh, to connect with the tools that can solve exactly their problem. Do you happen to know of one? <laughs> yes, I do. Do you <laughs> a care? A great one. We will be launching a little bit later. Oh, okay. I'm just 
<laughs> I was thinking, you just set me up I'm, I'm trying to build up to that. Oh, okay. So it's important to, um, so for all, as organizations, and we spoke a little bit earlier, I mean, Pavan spoke about it quite a, quite a bit in terms of actually being able to measure where you are. How easy is it, is there a different way that, uh, do you support organizations in interpreting the goals? Because 17 goals is great, but for each company, how that's interpreted and what that means for the organization may be slightly different. Well, it's clearly different for any company. And we support the company with tools and advice and inspiration on the goals. But this is really a super strategic agenda for any company. This is where the chairman of the board and the CEO needs to sit down with the company to figure out how can we adjust our business model, our products, the way we operate, so that we are absolutely sure that we are part of this global transformation that we do need to make the goals a reality. So it sounds like it's quite a transformational change throughout the, the blueprint of an organization. It certainly is. And what we are seeing these days is that many companies have already updated their business strategies. They have selected, let's say, three, four, five goals that they are putting into the heart of their business. And they are basically making the global goals the goal for their own company as well. We know that making the global goals require big time transformational innovation, which is why it's such a pleasure to be here today and meet some of the great innovators, because we won't make the 17 goals by Mm, incremental innovation, improving a little bit what we are already doing. It is a big step up for the world and it requires transformational innovation. It requires partnerships. It requires taking the business strategy to a completely new level. But you just saw some of the business people in the panel before. And if you ask them, they will tell you that it is making it easier for them to attract the right people to work for the company. It is improving their credit worthiness. It is helping push up their share price. So there are so many benefits for companies in doing their business in a responsible way that it is simply the way forward. It's the only way to do it now. It's the only way. And what's your role in supporting, so I mean, I'm can now, I'm now connecting the dots. It took me a minute, um, but I can see now the importance of, the, of organ, those, those sort of organizational collaborations because when it's that transformational, actually being able to understand things to do that, st that take it from being something you've written on a piece of paper one day in a boardroom to something that actually means something with an organization. Where do you think companies need to start so that, it's not, so that it's not just something we're playing lip service to, but it's actually something that builds momentum? Well, a good way to start, no matter which new initiative you want to do in a company, is to start by doing a baseline. So figuring out how are we doing towards the standards that are out there. So I think that's a great starting point. And you can do that, of course, on the 10 principles. You can do that on the global goals. We always want to see the two in combination uh, because that gives a really solid uh, entrance in, into the goals. And I just want to add <clears throat> what we are also experiencing more and more is that the financial sector are getting focused on the global goals, in particular on the areas that pose a big risk for investments, clearly climate, but also many other areas like how are companies addressing gender parity, how are companies working in partnerships. So the fact that the financial sector has picked up this agenda 
is another very interesting, how should I say, inspiration or push for companies. And I think um, integrated reports, annual reports from companies in the future will look very empty without the selection of global goals that the company has chosen to make a contribution to create the world that we all want. So I, I've got itchy now and I just need to know what this announcement is, but I've been told that we've got a few people to help us make this brand new announcement. It's pretty exciting, you wanna stay here.